you now in the next level of faith. Because when you get to a certain point, God is going to only open certain doors until you're faithful to what direction God has for you. God's not going to give you the moon to start if, if, if you can't handle the small ones. And so faith, next level faith, is showing God that you're no longer in the introductory level of life. That you've handled the one-on-one, the one-on-two level of life. And that now you're intermediate. You, you're in the intermediate phase of life. Where things begin to happen that, 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 that are uncomfortable and unsuited. And your reaction is, God, it's me and you. Tell me what I need to do to get through this. And God will send influential people around you to pray with you, to hover around you. Not to, not to overburden you and smother you, but people who you have access to, to speak life into your situation. And God wants to see me receive these gifts that I give you, some in human form, some in inspirational form, some in reallocation or relocation form. God wants to know, I've given you these things, will you receive them and accept them? And the more we receive the things that God has in store for us, the more God gives us. God gives you reassurances so that if you do lose your job, it's not the end of the world. God gives us reassurances that if you do get that diagnosis, that's not the end. God reassures you that if that, 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 that relationship goes a little astray, that, 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 that doesn't mean it's over. It just means you have a little bit more work to do. God suggests that if you can't pay your bills, that maybe it's not a financial situation. Maybe it's an allocation situation. And so the reality is that God gives us those things that we need to move from where we are to where we need to go. But the challenge is, are you ready to go to the next level? The psychologists always say that people are trapped by their own fears. People are trapped by their own fears. And the reality is that most people are afraid of failure. But what people are most afraid of is success. People are most afraid of success. Because if you actually succeed, then, then, then the hopes is out. Because you, you told yourself that you were faking it until you made it. And then when you made it and you were faking it, you didn't realize that it actually wasn't you. And so when people ask you, how did you get to where you are? And you begin to explain well, what I did, well, no, it wasn't you. So sometimes the challenge of success is can you rely on God enough to know that it really isn't you? And when you realize that, then there is no height high enough. There is no depth deep enough. That God can do all kinds of things, not only to you, but through you. And that's when it gets good. Next level of faith is believing what God says. Everybody's not meant to be a millionaire. Everyone's not meant to be a millionaire. I, I mean, this is just, this, this, everyone can't be a millionaire. Now, now, you can make a million dollars, but that don't make you a millionaire. Right? Because everyone can't be, you, to be a millionaire, let me just let you in on something real quick. This is free. In order to be a millionaire, you, you, you have to not be impressed by having a million dollars. And then you got to manage it such that you will always have at least a million dollars. Because if you did under a million dollars, you no longer a millionaire. So, 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 so it's like when, when folks are trying to get that job and all I want to do is make $50,000. 
If that's your goal of making fifty thousand dollars, then you're shortchanging yourself. Because once you make fifty thousand dollars, the first thing you find out is it really ain't enough. And if that was your goal, then you set your goal too low. So what God instructs us is to listen to what God says about your life and who you are and what God wants you to have. Because sometimes God will give you that million dollars and instruct you to give it away. Can we do that? Or are you so fixated on being a millionaire? I mean, that's a challenge. So many of us are we're afraid of being successful. Because if we're successful, then it comes with added responsibilities and added influence. So God says this. Know that I am God all by myself. And when I hook you up, that's your life. You're going to have an even bigger and better testimony of who I am and how I use you. But not only that, it, it means that because I hooked you up, then you need to find some people to hook up to. Because right? I will bless you just so that you bless you. And, and that's where the faith comes in. That's where faith comes in. The reality is we can't see our future. But faith assures us that there is one. We most often can't see the fruit of our labor. That, that young person who you spoke to two years ago, and you, 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 you walked with them for two months, and then they went this way, and you don't ever know what happened to that person. 30 years ago, you met somebody, you encouraged them, and you don't know how bad their life was in that moment. And they went that way and you went this way. You don't know how much fruit you have. But faith is the understanding that because of the things that you do now, you will have fruit. Right? It's the assurance of the things hoped for and the conviction of evidence things not seen. The way that you know, that you know that you know, that you're following Christ is by planting Christ's seeds all over the place. And that Christ sees that you don't have to stay in water, that, that Christ sees that you don't have to create a, a, a sun effect, that you don't have to fertilize it, because God's mandate to us was to go ye therefore. God didn't say that we need to be there to fertilize and to get pregnant. You don't need to be there to, 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 to wash people clean and all those things. We just need to spread the gospel. And then he says this. Love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and then love one another. And for me, love one another takes care of everything else. Because the faith that I have says to me that if I love you, I'm going to treat you as I want you to treat me. That's faith. That's faith. Right? That's faith. That's faith in God. Because if I love you, I'm making myself really wrong. Because I don't know when to get back. I, I don't know if I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. I don't know if I'm giving away stuff that I can monetize and make a whole lot of money right now. But I'm just talking at you, giving it all away.
developing next level things. We gotta go to the next level. We have to go to the next level. Right? You can't stay in elementary school forever. Right? No matter how much you want to. No matter how much you want to, you can't stay in elementary school. You gotta go to middle. You gotta go to middle. You gotta go to middle. And when we get to middle school, you can't stay in middle school forever. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Right? You got to make room for somebody to come behind you. Right? But you also got to show them the things that you learn and you actually learn them. So now you're responsible for the information that you talk. So everything that has been invested in you, you're responsible for. You shouldn't make kindergarten mistakes anymore. Right? You shouldn't make first grade kindergarten mistakes anymore. We've learned those lessons. And praise God, we've lived through them. Some of them were very painful and harmful. Some of them almost broke us. But the reality of faith is that you can get up the next day and do life. Because the same God that delivered you and rescued you from that situation, those situations, has your back. And because you know that you were both a little bold, a little proud, with more self-esteem, with more confidence, with more composure, with more conviction, with more understanding, that God has your back. And that God loves you so much that he sends some people to have your back too. And when you know that you have some folks who need you no harm, who need you all well, who need you all good, then life gets really Because you don't have to be alone anymore. You don't have to live life in solitude. You don't have to look over your shoulder every day. You can know that you know that you know that you have people who mean well for you, who will pray for you without even asking you the specifics of what they're praying for. People who don't need to get all up in your business. They just love you for free as we see. I, I don't need to know. But if you share it with me, that, that, that's why I'm just not getting a little deeper with you right now. But, but, but you know what happens? It's not a man thing. I just want to love you because I want you to do well. Because the people who, who are around me do well, guess what? I do well too. Right? So we create our own health and wellness by inspiring and challenging one another to be healthy and to be developing next level.